in this video, I wanted to show you that it is possible to get a good sized harvest off a container grown mulberry tree. I'd also like to share with you issues that I've had with this tree as well as some of my other fruit trees that were purchased with poor quality uh, nursery uh, soil mix. This Pakistan mulberry was purchased about three years ago. It came in a 15 gallon uh, nursery pot and as you can see it was healthy looking. During the first season it didn't put on much growth. It did manage to produce a very small amount of berries but nearly all wound up uh, drying and falling off before reaching maturity. I'd like to note that the mulberry is considered a fast-growing tree and like most fast-growing trees require plenty of room for root development. My first thought was that the tree needed more space for root growth in order to set a good sized crop so I decided to transplant it to a 20 gallon grow bag. When I removed the pot uh, I noticed that the soil had a lot of wood chips mixed in. I had previously read that some nurseries will mix wood chips into the soil, which is from research that I've done is a bad practice. From what I've read, wood chips use up a lot of uh, the soil's nutrients, specifically nitrogen, when they start to break down, which depending on the amount of wood chips uh, could take a few years to break down. As I began to break up the potting soil, there were just way too many wood chips mixed in. And I also noticed a slight foul odor, which I believe the tree may have been at the early stages of developing root rot. I had a other fruit tree, another fruit tree that died on me, which had developed root rot. And yes, it was a tree that was purchased from the same nursery. I decided the best thing to do was to swap out the soil with a fresh new mix. I'll list the soil mix on the screen. I wound up removing just about all of the soil, as you can see here short video I took it down all the way to the roots uh, which were much smaller than I expected another issue that I noticed was how poorly the tree was potted at the nursery the trunk of the tree was buried deep into the soil and as you can see in this video you can see how far up uh, the dark color on the trunk is. That dark line represents how far up the trunk the soil had reached, which was several inches. And at that depth, there's no chance for any airflow reaching the uh, root flare, which is a good practice for, for trees to leave the uh, root flare exposed, slightly exposed. Before adding the soil mix, I sprinkled some mycorrhiza on the exposed roots. I then added a layer of lava rock on the bottom of the container. And then I placed the tree inside the container and added the soil mix. I left the top of the root ball slightly exposed and added a little more uh, mycorrhiza, then covered with some pumice. I added a little bit more soil uh, to bring the level up closer to the pumice and then I topped it off by adding some uh, wood chips on top of that. I'd like to clarify that while 
wood chips mixed into the soil is not a good practice. They do make a good mulch. They provide some nutrients once they break down and they help retain uh, moisture in the soil. The reason I use pumice around the trunk of the root ball area is to keep the wood chips away from the trunk. I've also found that it helps uh, reduce snail and slugs from climbing up the trunk and feeding on the leaves and flowers when the trees are in bloom. I think the rocks sharp edges, especially when you use volcanic rock, makes it difficult for them to crawl over. Anyway, whatever the reason, it does seem to help a little. After repotting the tree, it did suffer transplant shock, but quickly recovered. A few months after the tree recovered, I decided to move it to a bigger container. I wound up building a 24 by 24 wooden container, which I'm hoping will be large enough for this tree. The tree did well for the next couple of seasons, uh, but did not put on much uh, of a fruit set until this last season. This past season, it produced its biggest crop. The berries were excellent in size and flavor. I'm very happy with the fruit production off of this tree. So if you don't have the room to put one of these in the ground, you may want to consider growing it in a container. And just in case you were wondering, uh, I don't fertilize this tree all that much. Uh, I usually give it a small amount of organic fertilizer in spring. And I also add some bone meal to help promote blooms. Uh, I'll give it a little more fertilizer in midsummer. And as far as pest issues, I really haven't had too many problems with this tree. I did have some uh, spider mite infestation on another tree that was close by and they managed to find their way onto the uh, mulberry. I sprayed it with some spinosad and that took care of the problem. But other than that, uh, no other real issues with this tree. They're easy to manage and the fruit is excellent in flavor. And I've been really happy with this variety. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. As always, Stay safe, grow your own, and thank you for watching.